The Israel coalition government has completed a year with many, including former Prime Minister Netanyahu, predicting its downfall. The government is still hanging by a thread. But the situation is getting harder by the day. With another MP's exit, Bennett says that the coalition may collapse in a matter of a week. So what does this mean for the Jewish state? Our next report has some answers. Take a look. In Israel, it has been a year of compromise and negotiations. This is the Jewish state's most diverse government. Spanning from the hard left to the hard right, the coalition began the year with a clear agenda. On foreign policy, it scored some wins, from the historic UAE-Israel free trade agreement, marking 30 years of ties with its key ally, India, to hosting the Negev summit with the US, UAE, Egypt, Bahrain and Morocco. Closer home, the problems were bigger. The government faced a wave of terror attacks. There was violence at Al-Aqsa, triggered by visits of Jewish groups. And a conflict with Hamas is still looming. In recent weeks, the coalition has been rocked by instability. Both the left and the right wing have the same claim. The government has swung too far to the other side. There have been defections. Coalition members are refusing to vote with the government. And threats of further dissatisfaction ahead. Prime Minister Naftali Bennett says the coalition could collapse in a week or two. This comes after another lawmaker quit the government. Nurobach is the third Yamina MP to desert Bennett. The Prime Minister now has just four party members in the coalition. If the government fails, Israel could be staring at its fifth election in over two years. But what will this mean for Yair Lapid? In 2023, the Israeli leader was supposed to become Prime Minister in the rotation agreement. Last week, a survey asked Israelis what they thought about a new election. I am very happy because Bennett is a good man and uh, you know he's man, he looked at all the people, no only here, only Bennett, you know, that, that's it. I'm not very happy about this government. This government is uh, doing just bad for Israel. I think uh, Benjamin Netanyahu was my favorite and most of the Israelis' favorite. In all three scenarios, the numbers fluctuated for almost all the parties, except one, the Yesha Tid party. In the polls, Yesha Tid consistently received the same number of seats. Strangely, perhaps, it looks as though Yair Lapid is closer than ever to becoming prime minister. If the members vote to dissolve the Knesset, Lapid will immediately become prime minister. However, this is only until a new government is sworn in. On any other day, this would mean good news for Benjamin Netanyahu. But the Likud party leader is facing rebellion himself. His party members are disagreeing with him. So he is not exactly in a great shape himself. The coalition government can only survive with only 59 seats until March 2023. This is when a new budget has to be approved. For now, it is impossible for Netanyahu to form a new government. He does not have the support of 61 lawmakers. But if last-minute defections do take place, Israel is staring at another election. It's fifth in a span of more than two years. West Asia Bureau, we on World is One. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.